In this video, I'll talk about voltage divider or voltage division. So let's assume we have a uh, circuit, which is a simple resistive circuit, like the one shown to the right. So basically, I want to find voltage V1, V2, and V3. So before and notice the circuit has a combination of series and parallel resistances. So the first thing is, because in this case, I cannot apply voltage divider directly. Because when you are doing voltage divider, the resistances need to be in series. So one thing I can notice here, these points here are all the same they are the same potential there's nothing connected in between them so that means the voltage across r2 will be equal to the voltage across r3 the same as the voltage across r4 so then if i can calculate this voltage which i called v then i can use that here and use since V will be equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3. I can use voltage divider. And to calculate V, I need to calculate the equivalent resistance starting from right up to R2. Then I can use voltage divider. So let's go through this quick example here. So I'm going to call our equivalent 1, which is the sum of the uh, resistances R5, R6, R7 because they are in series. So that's just 800 ohms. And then the, the equivalent resistance is this R equivalent one, which is in pair with R4, R3, and R2. So uh, resistances in parallel, that equivalent is one divided by the sum of the inverse of all the resistances in parallel. So if you carry out the calculation, you get 47.06 ohms. So basically, this is what, what I calculated. So I calculated our equivalent, which is across, which is uh, in series with R1. So I kind of redrew the circuit here to show you this is our equivalent that I calculated. And I know voltage V will drop across it. Since this resistance, our equivalent is in series with R1, I can use voltage division. So V is equal to 15 volts times our equivalent divided by R equivalent plus R1. So if I carry out the calculation, I get 4.8 volts. Now I know V, I can go back to the original circuit and use voltage division to calculate V1, V2, and V3. So V1, V1 here is equal to V times R5. R5 is the resistance across which the voltage I'm trying to calculate. So R5 divided by R5 plus R6 plus R7. R7. Basically the resistances that are in series. So if I carry out the calculation, I get 1.2 volts. So one thing to remember, voltage division involves resistances like in this case i'm just dealing with resistances the resistances in series they have to be in series when you are doing current division i recommend what watching videos that i did previously on current division the resistances have to be in parallel because we know current divides amongst uh, resistances that are in parallel 
No, I did the same thing for V2. It's just V times R6 divided by the sum of the resistances in, in series. So I get 1.8. I do the same thing for V3. So it's V times R7 divided by R5 plus R6 plus R7. So if I plug in the numbers, I get 1.8 volts. So one check, I know V is better be equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3. So that means these here, they better be equal to, uh, to V, which is 4.8 volts. So if, if they are not, that means something is wrong. So obviously if you do the math, if you sum up V1, V2, V3, 1.2 plus 1.8 plus 1.8 equals 4.8 volts. So that means our calculations are correct. So that's just one quick check. Thank you and have a great day.